Ladies and gentlemen, Terminus here. Today, we play one of the greatest games ever made, Resident Evil 2. The first one changed everything we knew about survival horror. The second one changed everything we thought was possible. We're going to start out with Leon Route A. Let's jump right into this and see if we have what it takes to survive the horror 26 years later. A story we've all heard a thousand times, but we never get tired of it. Called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redview and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's Umbrella. experiments were far from finished. Oh, I'm already feeling that nostalgia feeling right now. Look at those graphics. You know, I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Back in 1999 or 1998, I mean, these were, these were top of the line. They're still great today. What have we got here? Why'd he bite me? There it is. There it is. Still remember. Cats ago. Man, what a mess. He probably doesn't even know what, what to do the first this? day. It's probably like no radio or anything. What was that? Oh. What are these things? All right, that's far enough. Don't move. Don't move. Watch out, Leon. No. Oh, Leon's first blood. This is like a like a coronated zombie trap. They had one in the road, ready for the ambush. Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Let's go. There. I, I guess his first day on the job was night shift. Okay. Like they're gonna have a party at the police station, or I guess the story goes he missed his first day, so he's probably on? just trying to I get there. If he shows up and. and just insane. night shift there. I mean, they're gonna be like, "What are you doing here?" You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Oh man. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Oh, the Leon zombie! No. Oh. You okay? Still in one piece. <laughs> Get out of the way! 
Here we go. We got a weave. We got to thread the needle. See if we can make it to the police station with no damage. Here we go. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Looking good. Oof, still got it. Kendo's shop. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! Kendo's been holding out for pretty long. I mean, for a state in the city. Oh, sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed that something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Everybody broke in, stole everything but those flashlights. Alright, Kendo, doesn't look like you need this ammo. I'll borrow some from you. Alright, 30 rounds. Kendo. Oh, he blew the zombie's arm off. At least you went down with the fight. Man. Create some space here. Oh man, just the music. Ooh, I remember this. This is definitely bringing back some some chills. Oh, glitch shot. Alright. Sorry, Kendo. It looks like I need this more than you. I guess they're not dead till the music stops. The Kendo van. All right, we'll just pop them right here. One thing with these zombies is you want to create space. Let the gun do the work. No! Wait. Better watch out there. Almost had me. Yeah, I will just run by this guy. Do a little. A little bob and weave around that one. Oh. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Oh, let's check him for ammo. This could have been Leon Streets. Oh. Now I'll kill him from. Uh, you know, let's do it the old fashioned way. I think I can. Ooh! Threading the needle, threading the needle. No! Oh, no! He took a hit. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna be alright. Alright. We'll let these gentlemen enjoy their late night snack. Get your ride on the bus here.
Oh man, this image right here. This is iconic. This is definitely bringing back memories. Everybody remembers this bus scene right here. I mean, the artwork is fantastic. They did a really good job. Ooh. Looks like some of these people went out a better way than getting eaten alive. Alright, we got thread and needle. Bob and weed, let's go. Figure eight, figure eight. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright, we made it. We made it. Raccoon Police Department. Oh, I forgot there's two zombies here. Let's just create some space. There we go. For all those who, where this is your first time watching, uh, the Brad Zombie, there is a special enemy. If you make it to the police department without picking up any any items, you do fight him under the police department. So there's a set of stairs there when you come in. Uh, he takes like 20 plus bullets. All right, here we are. Iconic Raccoon Police Department. So first thing we have to do is just check on Marvin. Must be the new guy, Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. Deep down inside, he's what probably happened? thinking, "What are you doing About here?" Two months ago, like, why did you come? There was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other Stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. I don't think Here, there's many survivors, Marvin. Take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go, but just go. You know, I never understood that. Fine, but I'm coming back for to you. make you go. Just he hold on. puts a gun in your face, but yet he wants you to get out. Question is, would he have pulled the trigger? All right. Oh, forgot to unlock it. Got head to to the computer. I mean, look at this. This brings back memories. I mean, this was this is what our computers looked like too back then. Yeah, I remember these big boxes. Okay. Now you can go one of two ways, uh, depending on how you want to play the game. I mean, most people, this is the way to go if you're following the story, but. If you're just looking to have fun, um, get some extra game time action, make it a little harder, you can go to the other door. And uh, for people who actually take that route first time playing, um, they have a much harder time than if they take this route. So I'm just kind of going to slowly pan through these these memos and reports. You could pause and read it if you want to, but uh, stay on course with the game. You know, I, I breeze through these pretty pretty quickly. So I'm just going to uh, move through them at a pace. Man, these scenes. You know, they did a really good job. They really did. I mean, even to this day, 
the original Resident Evil 2. The scenes, the angles, the artwork, it's just fantastic. I mean, one of the greatest cinema scenes coming up, liquors. I mean, everybody remembers this. This is what gives people nightmares. I remember having nightmares over this back in the day. We can use Kendo shotgun here. I believe it takes two shots. Yep, there we go. They actually look like he's about to jump. One thing the lickers can do, I remember they do have a move where if they jump and they swing, they can cut your head off. It's a one hit KO. It looks like he is getting ready to do that. And we got a shot off fast enough to knock him down. I mean, look at this artwork. This is fantastic. Just gives you the eerie feeling, the chills. Like, what happened here during the outbreak? What chaos? How many people were there? Everything's in disarray. So, I mean, here's a report right here talking about the outbreak. What the police force did to try to control the situation. Looks like there are some known incidents leading up to this event. And uh, it looks like Chief Irons purposely scattered all the munitions and weapons to make it hard for the police officers to defend themselves. Now, Chief Irons, for all of those who haven't played this game, he is a character who can only be found on Claire's route. So Claire A and Claire B, both her stories, she is the only character that deals with Chief Irons. Just clicking around here. I believe there's something in the back room here. Yep, it's pistol ammo. This uh, iconic painting here, everybody remembers it. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, it's uh, not too many people have that up for artwork. That's that's pretty weird. I mean, it just gets that eerie feeling like what's going on here why you know they did a really good job with just how you felt when you played the game I mean I still feel that way right now back 26 years ago okay nothing else here moving on so we're gonna hook it down the rest of the hall here I believe it comes to a hallway right before the dark room there's a split uh, zombies on both sides. Uh, what do I want to use? Probably the shotgun's the best case scenario for this. Two rounds left because we're going to come across a shotgun again in the star's office. So let's, uh, yeah, let's stay with the shotgun. We'll take the first zombie out before he grabs us, and we'll uh, switch back to pistol here. Create some space. Controlled situation. Oh, there we go. I might as well just pop her too. Use it up. Great space. Go back to pistol. Oh, miss. It's all right. There's plenty of ammo in this game. You do not have to worry about ammo. up some health. So we're entering the dark room. This is uh, there's two lockers you see on the left there. If you did fight Brad and get the special key, that's where you use it. Leon scenario 
he has two costume choices, and he actually holds the pistol differently and shoots faster. Claire has one costume choice, and an additional weapon revolver, more powerful and faster, with reloading and firing, and uses pistol ammunition. So it's kind of like an upgrade from the, the pistol. Her pistol is less, it's more inferior um, than Leon's pistol. It just has less capacity. All right, I think we're ready to go. This is that uh, hallway stretch up here, two statues. Now really, the big setback to that room right there is just really dependent on your speed runs for how you go about it. If you try to get the um, ruby, the jewel, running to this destination or on the way back. And that, there's many different videos out there for which is better. Preference on the runners. Just taking out the fleet zombies here. Really, for most of the run-ins you have, which is normal zombies in this game, you can just use the pistol. I mean, it's it's fine. You don't really need the waste shotgun ammunition. Like I said, there. Up oh, here's the shotgun, the additional one. There, you do come across a lot of shotgun shells. So if you do decide to have some fun, um, it's. I mean, go for it. You should have plenty of ammo before you reach the end of the game, if you search around. Okay, oh, here's the stars team. A throwback. I mean, this artwork is timeless. Oh, sorry, forgot the pan. I'll bring that back up. We'll put it back up for those who want to read it. Got the medallion. So we have to head back to the office. Well, the main hall. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. He kind of makes it sound like he's dead. <laughs> we're not going to find your brother. There's no reason. Oh, no. So dramatic. Necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. I mean, it's pretty much right. what you don't want to do is split up. Thing. Here's a radio. Always stronger in numbers. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. It sounds like a plan. All right, here we go. Let me pull it up for you. Chris's diary. So I believe this is kind of what leads to the story of Code Veronica with Claire getting caught at the Umbrella facility. I, I think that took place in Europe. And then she gets captured and sent to a prison camp in some island near Antarctica. Um, but I believe that's why she went there. Was she was kind of looking for her brother. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I think that's what kind of generated that story. All right, let's head back. Let's use that medallion. A little backtracking here. Now, as I said, with this room up here, a lot of speed runners on their way back will get the 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 ruby here or the emerald, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just really it's, it's preference how you want to go about it. When I used to speed run back in the day, we would do it on the first run, the first go. I just thought it was easier. Oop. Missed it here. It would be terrible for a speed run. Okay. And if you do get the statues wrong, you want to you want to cross them so that they're facing the statue. If you by chance, you know we 
done it. Everyone's done it at some point. If you do set them up incorrectly, that's okay. You just exit the room, come back, they reset. You can do it again. Ba ba ba. Oh, the red jewel. That's what it's called. There's two red jewels. One at the fireplace, one at the statue here. All right. Oh. Oh. I forgot about that. Oh, that made me jump. That made me jump. Ooh, my hands are sweaty right now. Ooh, just the noise too. I have the volume up uh, pretty loud. My headset on and uh, that did, that made me jump. All right, we took out the liquor so we don't have to worry about them. All right, check this door, spade. Yeah, so that's the spade key, which we're actually, I remember getting that once we used the medallion here. So that's gonna be the first door we're gonna use. We're gonna check it out. So, let's get the key. Then we're gonna book it back this way. So it's kind of repetitive, you know, but if you have no prior experience to this, you're not really gonna know any better. Maybe you tried running past the enemies and you have to dodge them again. Yeah, all right, let's put the medallion in there. Here we go. Could you imagine if you had to go to work and that's like how you punched in or you signed in and then like something just leaned forward and drop your name tag or a key that you needed? It'd be fantastic. Almost forgot. Check out this door. I think I think this was the archives. It looks like it. Uh, I thought something was on the cob here. Oh, that's another thing. From what I remember, this game you get plenty of ink ribbons. You don't have to grab all of them. I mean, really only use what you need. Okay. Always check around. Just constantly keep clicking that action button as you're running and you'll just find stuff to pick up. Let's see how I'm constantly pressing up against the wall. It's because I'm looking for things. Hit the action button, hold run. And if there's something there, he will pick it up. My load out here. If I want to stop at the box, yes, I do. I thought that was a map. All right, so we're going to go back up to the stars hallway. There's a door at the opposite end. I believe that is the last place we use the spade key. 
before we throw it away. It's going to bring us to the lounge. Yeah, there's something about this hallway too. It just just the way it looks, the color, the wood sound from walking it, it does. It just puts chills down my spine. All right, here we go. I remember there's a lot of zombies here, so I'm gonna use a shotgun. Try to line them up. Try to knock all of them down with one blow. Ooh. There we go. Oh, blue one and a half. We got a crawler, ankle biter. Looks like that guy had a bad time. It makes you wonder if they were feeding on a fresh kill. Like if that guy just died. Like we just we didn't make it to him in time. Or if he's been dead and he just hasn't turned. And they came across him and wanted a snack. And just kept eating until until we woke up. You know, because like, if the, if it was a fresh kill, eventually the virus should wake them back up. You would think, unless they just eat them to the point they can't wake back up. All right, so uh, we're at the top balcony here. Um, I believe, yeah, this is where the clock tower is. I think. Just checking to see if we need a key or anything later on. Any items? Okay, so that's for the crank. That's where we're gonna use the hand crank. I believe we have to get the gear as well, so there's really no need to come back here until we find the gear, which I think is in the opposite side of the building in the press room, if I remember. See, the press room or the observation room? Oh. That noise still it kind of makes me jump. I knew it was coming, but I still kind of jump. <laughs> All I've already forgotten. Let me take a quick look again. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow. Okay. Yellow, blue. That'd be yellow, blue. Move that one over to the right. Blue, yellow. First chess piece. So there's a total of four chess pieces that we're going to use later on in the sewers to gain access to the sewer segment. Um, it's a fuse for the door to unlock it. You need all four. So we're going to put that away when you come across a box. That's something we're going to use later on. So you don't have to grab that. I mean, if you're speed running this, Oh, hold on a second here. But if you're if you're speed running, you can actually just wait till you come back with the crank, grab the fuse, use the crank, clock tower, use the gear. It'll be the final fuse there, and then it'll bring you back down to the parking lot. There's nothing over here. Just trying to see. I I always wondered why they have that that uh kind of the wall like that, that insert that piece of artwork on the wall like they planned on having something with the game but didn't uh, just kind of left it you know an area for you to go down all right so let's set the ladder so we don't have to keep running back we can just go up and down whenever needed all 
Whoa, hey! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Man, just look at the size of this building. I mean, could you imagine working here? Just having to walk all over the place, hundreds of people in here getting in the way. Okay. First small key. We're gonna use that, we're gonna backtrack. Um, at some point here, use that to get the Matilda. So this one's just talking about Chief Iron's weird art. I mean, he kind of he does have weird art like that. That I mean, it's talking about that painting that we lit on fire with the fireplace and statues and. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty weird. Dude's a pretty weird guy. Something going on deeper within him. Kind of showing his personality. So. We're going to go ahead. Got a flaming zombie here. I remember this scene, this hallway here was used in advertisements for the games. I remember watching commercials on uh, TV and they would show that scene with the flaming zombies walking around. You know, I've never liked this room either. Um, it is it, it is an eerie feeling, but it's like, it's so dark. Oh, totally forgot about that. <laughs> That's probably why I don't like it. Um, it's just such a dark presence. And, you know, it's like, there's there's not a lot of light. It's, it just, it just gives you a mellow feeling when you're there. Like it's someplace you don't want to hang out. Like I'd rather hang out in Star's hallway versus that area. Okay, I'm gonna go to the pump house. We got get the turn valve so we can put the fire out in the helicopter. Oh, oh, we got a diver. Oh, she really went for me. <laughs> she was going out with a bite. All right, let's just run by these guys. All right, to the pump house. I, um, there's not much to this room. There's just an item down here we need. Um, I really wish they did more with this room. I mean, they, it, they drew a lot of artwork in here with machines and everything, but there's like, there's really no point for it. We just come here, we grab the valve. This is the entrance though. This is, um, the start of Leon A, I mean, Leon B and, and Claire B for the second one. Whoa! Look at those guts! We gotta get out of here! 
I don't want to waste any time with them. I mean, you can kill them if you want to, but... Good little uh, scare right there. Let's do some bob and weaving. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna use the valve, we're gonna... We're gonna drain the water tower, dump water on the helicopter. And that's going to give us access to the room. I believe in that room there is a key that we need. I can't remember which key it is. We're going to use the red jewels to get the second chest piece. There we go. Mm, beautiful. believe there's ammo here yep I mean even though those ammo the ammo would have gone off in the fire I mean aviation fluid burns or aviation gasoline burns pretty hot um, we'll pick the ammo that's good let's use it all right here we go just run by all these birds if you do happen to die from the birds, you will always be known as that person who died. I think this is the only time you run into birds in Resident Evil 2. Yeah, that will stick with you for life. Now, Claire's route, she uses a bomb to access the hallway that the helicopter is blocking. Leon, that's where well that's where she meets Chief Irons for the first time, but Leon, he doesn't come in contact with him at all. I mean, he doesn't even know he exists. I mean that was his boss too. Alright, so it's a diamond key. So with the diamond key, we gotta make our way back to Marvin. We can go through the I think it's called the evidence room. And uh, we're gonna go check on Marvin because we gotta get him out of here. <laughs> Told him we're coming back for him. All right, so there's our check our second chess piece. Just looking around here. Got space now for shotgun shells. Ooh, gotta make space. Uh, I should not have kept the key. I don't really. The box is right around the corner here, so let me go drop some things off, and then uh, I'll come back. Go back and get the shotgun shells. Okay. All right. Looking good. Head back this way. Let's go use a small key. We'll get the Matilda attachment. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they called it the Matilda in this. I think that came around in Resident Evil Four. Kind of just stuck. I think it's, it's an HKVP70. If you check it in the item screen. All right, but for all those who don't know where this attachment is, you gotta go back to the lounge. Cut through the library here. So we will use a small key. Here it is. Oh. I personally enjoy using this 
attachment. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of ammo in this game. It's, it's fun if you're just looking to have like a um, gameplay where you just kill every enemy. You know, go on full auto mode. It's actually just three round burst. Let's get a look here. There you go. So we want to head back, go check out our pal Marvin. I, I do wish, you know, with all this running back and forth, I do wish they had some enemies regenerate. You know, even if they're a different kind of zombie, um, liquors, whatever. I mean, there are parts in the game they do that, but just for like this area here, like there, there really should have been some enemies at this hall up here, but. I mean, overall, I mean, it's it's been it's a fantastic game. It's they did a great job up until this point. I mean, even the, I mean, the rest of the game is absolutely amazing. All right, so we're gonna use a diamond key. I switched to the shotgun because uh, I remember there being quite a bit of enemies here. Oh, oh, glitch, glitch! Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! Gotta reload. Gotta get this guy into somebody coming after me on that side. Yep, let's move to create space. <laughs> My heart is pounding right now. I thought that was the end. <laughs> I thought that was the end. Man, that glitch shot. I I didn't think I had to load the shotgun coming prior to coming into the room because I thought. <laughs> Three was more than enough, and uh, that glitch shot definitely changed things. Alright, so we picked up some film, I mean we'll, when we backtrack to dark we'll be sure to use that. Let's go see what's on this film. Working arm. So the G virus, the G human. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go check on our pal Marvin. You have unlocked it. Oh no, I can't remember if there's a lot of enemies here or not. That's green herb. Okay, looks like there's a zombie missing his head. Now, Marvin, he does change here. He kind of is like a super Brad zombie. He's really fast. Uh, so I highly recommend just using a shotgun here. Whoa! He was much closer than what I remember. So now he's a crawler, we'll just take him out with our pistol. You know, one thing that I always notice in this room is when I run back there, keep an eye out for the water cooler. It's red, and I wondered, like, is that supposed to be blood? Like, were the designers, did they want to put that in his blood because that doesn't make sense like why would blood be in the cooler so my only guess is maybe because it was a party like they put some kind of drink in there say wine kool-aid i don't know but i always wonder like why why is it red even as a kid i was like why would that be red 
Do they plan for it to be like the viewer for them to think like, or the gamer that, hey, it's blood. All right, so it looks like, looks like this is Leon's desk. Um, letter from the team here. Welcome in here. So this was supposed to be Leon's first day of work. He showed up late. And, uh, I mean, that's probably why he's still alive. Perfect example of maybe some things happen because they're supposed to happen. And uh, there's a reason for it. So I did save it there just in case it crashes. I don't want to lose from where we started or what we made it to. Alright, so let's go check out the second half of the police station. Hmm. I remember back in the day when you popped the zombie's head, everybody be like, whoa! Like, it was a good feeling. <laughs> like, people looked forward to doing it. It was just, it was considered graphic. It was crazy. Um, showed the power of the shotgun. Everyone was like, you know, they. Just run around and want to pop zombie heads. I'm running back to the box here. I just want to create more space. I mean, I don't need... I probably don't need that health, but because I haven't played this in so long, I'm just going to carry it on me like I would any first game run through. I, I remember a lot about this game, but there are some surprises and some elements I do not remember. I actually I don't remember it having this much action for PlayStation 1. I'm, I'm very impressed, actually, with what they were able to create with the console at that time. All right, so we got a split here. You got to take out that zombie immediately. I mean, that is a good example of when you could set the pistol to auto, just do three round bursts, take them out real fast, create space, uh, but you should have enough time if you just keep it on a manual single shot or semi-automatic. Watch out for those crawlers. Remember, I said there's plenty of pink ribbons. Oh! I was not expecting that. I wasn't hearing anyone walk around. Perfect example of the element of surprise. You think the room is cleared, you don't hear anything, you're walking around. Next thing you know, somebody grabs you, and then you're dead. Two, two, three, six. Some shotgun shells, a map. <clears throat> I never used a map in this game. I mean, I'm not against it for those who do use it. I just, I never really needed to use it. All right, so I believe we use the heart key. It's either heart or diamond. We're gonna use it to unlock the door that leads to the parking garage. So we're gonna go into the basement, all that good stuff downstairs, into the parking garage, and we're gonna meet a new character. But uh, let me just take a look out here real quick. All right, I'm just checking to make sure there's no items or anything. 
Looks like there's just two healths. Okay. Use our key. I believe that's the only place with Leon A where you use the heart key. I just clicked through it. I didn't even check if it said you want to get rid of it. I'm actually surprised there's no enemies here. I'm actually really surprised. Now I know the windows are broken. Uh, there's a fuse box. There is an item we get later, the fuse cord, uh, where we can put the shutters down in this room. You gotta choose this room or the other side of the police station. So there, there could be zombies there later. Right now I hear some dogs. You don't fight dogs in many areas of this game, uh, but I remember this is one area that can give you trouble. You know, and how you go about it. I guess it would make sense that dogs are in the basement. If this is where the kennel is. I'm just gonna walk back here, set them off. A little strategy, I remember. Ooh. Oh! Another example of pistol was selected for auto for three round burst. We would hit both of them and we would not have gone hit. I could have ran up the stairs to reset the room, reset the enemies, but I mean. It's a coward's way to do it. You know, we're going, we're going with the fight. Play the game the way it was designed. Okay, that was the morgue. We're heading into the, I guess, the power room. That's where the control unit is for power to the facility. Plenty of health, ammo, health, ink ribbons. I mean, you come across it all over the game. It's grab at your own leisure. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. I can combine it. Keep that single space available. Okay. Okay. For this puzzle, you just have to get the right combination. Uh, we have to get on 80. We did two ups, so let's do it down. Let's do another up. And do it down. Oh, going on first try. <laughs> All right, so power's on. Oh, there's another map for those who love using maps. Let's head back out. And that room that we saw light up, that is the weapons room or the armory. There is a machine gun in that room. And a pouch for extra storage. Now, from what I remember, what you select in Route A impacts Route B. So, if you take the machine gun in Route A, then the character in Route B will not have that option for the machine gun, vice versa with the pouch. If you take both, then you can't have either of them in Route B. Alright, so here's that character I was talking about, Data. This is where we first come across her. Pretty iconic character in the Resident Sorry. Evil series or franchise. You know, she thought I was a zombie and she shot at me and missed that close. And she's a trained and what are you doing here? agent. I'm looking for some guy um, I'd say she's pretty bad. Types, always looking for a scoop. I mean, that was a pretty terrible <laughs> shot. <laughs> Could have just yelled, hey. Save some ammo. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Yeah, unless that thing's in neutral, there's no way they're moving it. Those wheels would not turn. That's just something you learn later in life. 
All right, so let's just scope out this area real quick. Ah, so she follows you around. This is where we meet Ben, the reporter. He's in hiding. So he locked himself up thinking it was uh would protect him more so than Let me if he was out and about there running around. Ben, right? Get up now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on. Now here's the you? thing. What did you tell them? Fleon wasn't there. Who the heck are you? Ada was the only one I'm there. She is an Asian for Umbrella. Boyfriend. She's supposed to destroy Jack. evidence, loose ends, and of collect any samples like Chicago, the virus that she can get. Um, six months ago. If she was talking to I Ben by herself, would here. she assassinate him? Because he has information and even if I did, why would that I could tell you? leak to the public. The okay, question is, if she did I that, say, say she shot him with Leon there, Does would she turn on Leon this early on? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? That's actually probably what like she was I coming said, to do was to assassinate him. So that's, that's this cell. why Leon and Ada crossed paths. Before you lead it right to me. Hey, you know, they I'm came to the same here. area at the same I'm time. The only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but I, I, I question be easy. how he would know that. All right, I'm going. Like, how would you know that there's a manhole that leads? You know, like it's connected to police station. This is the entrance. This is the way out. Who are you, Ben? Are you more than who you say you are? All right, so we got the crowbar. Ooh, almost passed it up here. Going into the kennel. We're gonna use crowbar to open the manhole. And um, I believe I remember. So these dogs can get out. There's an item at the other end of the room. If you go to collect it, I think it's just an herb. But if you go to collect it, they do break out. Let's kill these dogs. Ooh. Kinda made me jump. So we can... Looks like we can just shoot them right through the bars here. Okay. Let's see if we can actually set this one off. Get the breakthrough. Now... Looks like we might have to grab the red herb. Now we'll just kill him. Now the reason why I kind of shot in the open there when I backed up the herb was... I don't know if it's a version thing, but it was like kind of like a feature they added where at this angle, if you shot in... in the viewer's direction to put bullet holes on the screen. Uh, it didn't seem to work. Let's try from a different angle here. See if I can get it. Oh, no, nothing. Maybe that wasn't in the original PlayStation 1. No, it definitely was. I remember doing that. First encounter with the spiders. This is actually probably one of the worst 
enemies for AI in the game. Um, they're absolutely terrible. Most of them, I believe you can just run by these. There should be two down here. I mean, that one was kind of tanky. Two shotgun shells and pistol. Ooh! Ooh! See my poison? Yep! Oh, they got me! He got me. It's alright, there should be a blue herb up here. Anytime you come across an enemy in Resident Evil that can poison you, there's always blue herbs nearby. That's how you know that those types of enemies are going to be there. And behold, the blue herb. Yeah, let's take it. Can heal it up. So I still have the diamond key. My guess is it's going to be used um, for the observation room, or to get there, or for the uh, press conference room. So this is actually the room later on. There's a boss fight. Let's just check it out real quick. But there's a there's a boss fight here for both characters on both routes. Um, this is where you use the fuses with the chess pieces. So you have to enter this room to trigger the, the cutscene with Ada coming out here. So if you're speed running, you just come in, you turn around, you come out trigger the cutscene and then we're going to switch characters here because I'm gonna lift Ada up put her through the vent yet. My name's Leon. I'm and explore the new area oh, she don't care it's a dead end you think we can get upstairs through this shaft give me a boost I'll go and check All right, so Ada actually has Claire's pistol, the one that she got in the police car in the very beginning. Hold to max of 13 rounds. See, <laughs> that could have been the end. Um, you can get stun locked in this game. It's common with liquors. It can happen with dogs. Maybe not two dogs. There are three dogs. I mean, they could have stun locked me up against the wall there. Um, liquors are notorious for it because they just, with the way their arm swings, if there's multiple of them, they'll definitely lock you. Looks like there's just some shells down here. Okay. Okay, so if you play as Claire, instead of Ada, you play as Sherry, which is the little girl that Claire comes across. This is her entrance. This is where she comes in. And I don't think she fights dogs when she comes up here. I, I think she fights zombies. Um, more so just runs by them. She has no offensive capability whatsoever. All right, let's grab that map. For all those who love maps, I, I don't really know why you need a map of this area. Um, it's pretty small, not much to it. All right, so we need to set these up to create a bridge. Now, this is one of those areas, it's just kind of annoying, like, you know what to do. It was put here 
um, just to take up time. So I believe because of Resident Evil 1 with all the speedrunners that came out, um, I personally believe that they put areas like this in the game to make it challenging for the speedrunner. So how they go about it, do they make a mistake like I just made where I had to readjust? It's one of those areas, like I just ended up back on the box when I didn't need to. So it's one of those areas that can... Um, really take seconds off the clock if you don't go about it correctly or if you just move the character incorrectly or hit the wrong button. All that disgusting water. I mean why it's like I guess it's sewage. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. All right. What? Ada, wait! like that <laughs> no time wasted she's on a mission probably thinking about how she's gonna assassinate Ben like I said plenty of ammo in this game I mean look how many shotgun shells I have so we got the club key we're gonna backtrack it okay so diamond in the club uh, there's really only one area so we haven't been to the press conference we did the observation rooms on both ends. Uh, those would be the only places that we would use these keys. Now, the reason why I put the diamond key away is because we're still going to explore the basement here. The club key is more important. Um, I believe there is a box in the area that we're going to use the club key. So I want to create space because I do plan on grabbing the machine gun. And I do plan on grabbing more items here. So um, it's not really needed. Oh, totally forgot. Oh, oh, run like a coward. <laughs> I said earlier, we uh, we stay and we fight like a man. We don't run. No, that one. <laughs> I'll reset the room on that one. That one, uh, that one made me run. All right, so it looks like there's some liquors here. I'm going to take it. There's more than one. There's probably three, I'm going to say. Um, tends to be the max number for liquors in a room. Ooh, this one's a little more powerful. Doesn't look like the shotgun's quite blowing them back. Now you gotta be careful about distance. Okay. The further away they are, they can do that lunge attack. Where they fly through there and they cut your head off. It doesn't matter what skill you're on, it doesn't matter how much health you have, it is a one-hit KO. So you wanna walk, liquors are blind, they go off the noise. They hunt by sound. So if you walk, take it close enough, they don't really start picking up on you. That one only took two shotgun shells. Um, 
I don't know what was up with the other one, but it seemed more powerful. I'm just going to check out this room real quick. I just want to see the artwork. Um, you don't have to go here unless you're Claire. I want to see, kind of see just what it looks like. But I don't really want to go down there. Ooh. Oh! I did not remember that. Ooh! Ah, so <laughs> there is a significant amount of dogfights in this. I was wrong in my statement earlier. Yeah, we're good. So we're going into the morgue. Ah, oh, okay, the club key. You know, I didn't know if you can go in this earlier or not. I just kind of figured we hit it on the way back. It looks like you do need the club key in order to get the key card, which allows you to get the machine gun and the side pouch. Alright, so obviously there's a lot of zombies here. So let's wake up the dead. Alright, so this is the, the perfect opportunity to test out the 3-round burst. A bunch of zombies, let's see what, there we go. Alright. Beautiful. So I, I personally, I love this weapon. I think it's a great gun to just do run through with. I mean, look how quickly it drops them. Just took two down with one, two birds and one stone on that shot. Music's still on. So rule of thumb. The surprise music is still on. That means the zombie is still alive. So if he fell to the ground and the music was still playing, that means he's going to bite your ankle if you try to walk over him. Alright, so we got the key card. Let's go check it out. See, I liked coming back to the basement here and the liquors are there. That's what I like. I like how they reloaded enemies in a different kind of enemy in a place that we had to backtrack through. It just adds more, you know, it makes the game, I mean, the game was scary enough. It was hard enough, especially back in the day, first of its kind. Uh, but that was, that would just been more, you know, it just been, just been even harder. Like it would at least have a hard mode. I think there is no hard mode. I think it's just normal mode. So in the armory here, there's just a bunch of ammo. Go to lockers. You see the sun machine gun and then you see the side pouch. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the sun machine gun. Well, I thought about there for a second, but I'm going to take the sun machine gun. I'll leave the side pouch for Claire. From what I remember, um, Route B is harder, and you're going to want more space. If I recall, I think Claire's route is harder overall, too, so there's definitely more enemies in Route B. Here we go. We're going to head back up here. We're going to go to the Night Room, I believe it's called, for Night Watch. We use the club key. There should be a box in here. There's one in that corner. That might only... I can't remember if that was only in the remake or not. Doesn't look like there's a box. So, I'm going to have to go run back to the waiting room and get the diamond key. So it seems like the night staff or the night watch, uh, we're seeing some shady things. Uh, somebody's looking sick, has symptoms. The person who wrote this knows that something's weird is going on. Something's not normal. And he talks about the chess pieces. The guy used to play the electrician, created the fuses. I guess he loved chess so much, he created his custom chess pieces. 
his chest fu fuses. All right, so we got the uh, Magnum here. I don't have enough space. I, I'll just pick it up. I don't need it now, so I'll pick it up on my way back. I mean, I could have just used my first aid and picked up the, the herbs, but honestly, I am not worried about it. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> I'll use these ones. I'll save the other ones. Well, maybe not. All right, so I decided to go to the box up here in the uh, second floor waiting room. So then I can grab the herbs on the way back. Let's put this sun machine on the way, we don't need that. Let's get our diamond key. first aid away first aid sprays are more valuable than herbs so I mean I only need one green herb will heal me so I'll just grab a green herb on the way back heal myself and uh, we should be good mm, those crows now here's the thing here's the thing crows are infected they can fly they're trying to contain the virus in this city but can't the crows just fly out? Like, can't they just fly off into the forest outside city limits and just go anywhere in the world or infect other animals? Just whatever they come across. I guess it took 26 years for me to think about that. <laughs> I have more wisdom now. All right, so we're going going down this way toward the press conference. Just gotta hit some hallway hallways here. always want to create space obviously the zombie grabs you so the further away you are the better let the gun do the work as it was designed to do a lot of people you know you, you, you watch them play or just in the movies like everybody okay so we're gonna use the dime key this is the last location to use it we'll throw that away let's just check out down here real quick but what I'm saying was in the movies and games like everyone always seems to have to be up close and use the, the gun I mean they're designed for distance there we go let's use the club key let's get rid of it so that's all the keys for the police station. Let's check out this room first. It's the one half or section or side of the observation room. I believe there's nothing too crucial in here. Just report and the other small key. Yep. 
which we don't we don't have to do this. I mean, it's it's just for ammo. Nope, no report. I thought there was. Maybe it's in the other room. All right, so everybody remembers it. A liquor jumps through the glass. So I'm ready for it, <laughs> but my hands are still sweaty. All right, so let's make some space here. Let's combine some herbs. We got our final, no, our third chest piece. There's four total. Ooh, that still made me jump. I wasn't expecting it that early. I thought I had to pass through the table. Oh, he got me. Check that health. Let's get that cable. All right, so here's that cable I was talking about. They call it the cord. Um, that's how you you get to choose what section of the police station you want to put the shutters on. All right, this press conference. There's the gear. As I mentioned earlier. Oh, looks like we don't have the space for that film. I really want that film. I feel like <laughs> I have to know what's on that film. But let's go ahead. Let's solve the puzzle first. Let's give that a light. I don't remember the combination. Let's see if we get on our first try. Two. All right, let's try this one. There we go. Like, could you imagine that too? Like, there's system in place for that when you light the flame like when you light these candles or those whatever those are it just releases like a latch just releases all right so we still don't have space let's uh i'll just use the health to get rid of that we have plenty of health it's all over the place let's get that film okay so we're gonna run all the way back to the clock tower so we're gonna have to go you could go through the ladder in the main hall to cut to the library I'm gonna take the longer route because I'm just gonna show you that you can use this cord to put the shutters down um, in the one section of the police station so if that's you know so you'll, you'll know one location of where you can use it and I also want to hit up the dark room I want to develop that film, but if you're speed running and you want to bypass all that, you'd run to the ladder, the main hall, then you go through the lounge, star's office, I'm sorry, you go into the library, once you climb up the ladder, and then you would go up the stairs, make sure you got the fuse, if you didn't grab it early, get the crank, the gear, go to the clock tower, use it, get the last fuse, take the chute going down to the jail cell area. All right, so let's, uh, let's put our fuse away. Get our crank. Now I remember an RE1, the original, that used the crank for everything. And this one, I believe you only use it in one area, which is the clock tower. All right, so here's one area that you can use the cord for the shutters. The zombies will not break in through these windows. I don't think this is the better of the areas to use them in, but honestly, if you know what you're doing, you're never going to backtrack. So. You don't really need to use it. Let the zombies break in and it just saves you time. 
if you're somebody who doesn't know what they're doing and this is your first run through um, you definitely want to use it in one of the areas because you will backtrack you know you can fight the zombies there's more than enough ammo but if you don't have the ammo or you're trying to do a knife run or something like that um, you're gonna want to use a shuttle board Film B. Kind of looks like uh, somewhat. It looks like that zombie in the beginning. You know, came across. Try to get his leg. R. Lambert. I wonder if R. Lambert was a made up name or somebody who helped work on the game. I wonder that. Sometimes they use their faces, if they use their names, last names, or just first names. Alright, so we developed our film. Let's make our way up to the clock tower. Like I said before, this is the slow way to do it. But because this is our first playthrough, I mean, this is this is how I would have done it. Head to the library. Oh no! Oh no! That's the second place you can use the shutter cord. They're coming in. Kind of makes you wonder what just made those zombies. I mean, they don't really have any thought, but what made them just want to like come in? I'm just checking out this area real quick, make sure I got the fuse. I couldn't remember. Um, yeah, but what what made them just want to pour in there? Like, there was a lot of them, right? Like, so it's like out of all the times they could have poured in there, they decided now. It's not like one zombie just randomly went through the window, or two zombies. They all decided to go through the window. Think about how tall this building is. Going down that chute would probably be the scariest thing out of this entire journey. Cause like, imagine if you got stuck in there. Or just how fast you would fall. Mr. Burke. Scoping out the area. My question is, where does he go? Like, where did you go? Because Leon was right around the corner for the only place you can get out. It's the mystery of Burton. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The you gotta love those liners. The journalism no liners. Just kept in the papers the whole time. Scum. I, mean, I, I don't. I mean, they didn't have thumb drives or anything Hanging back then when this released. The papers would have been the way to store it. 
I would just stomped it. Good God! What I mean, prevent that? it from turning into the G virus or the G monster. Okay. All right. Yep. 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 All right. Wow, $10,000. I mean, that won't even go far t in today's time. <laughs> Maybe back in the 90s, you know, 10000 was a lot. But, I mean, for the secret, they had to keep $10,000. Like, come on. I will not allow anyone to steal my work. Where are you going, Ada? Ada doesn't care. To the chemical plant. She was gonna shoot that I guy anyway. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada. She's just wait. like, oh, my life is easier hey. now. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I just love how it's straight to the point. It's like perfect teamwork. Like, meet me there. I'm on my way. There's just no argument. There's no why. It's just, hey, we're going to the sewer. I'll meet you there. I'm gonna just search around here, grab an herb. I mean, in this, you don't... From what I remember, you don't really... I think the spiders are the only thing that can poison you, so... There's really... Not a need for the, for the blue herb. Um, I mean, if you do get poisoned, there's generally is one in proximity. You'll probably kill all the enemies within the area before you get it. If you're really under attack to the point to where you do get poisoned, I I don't think I've ever been killed by a spider in this game. I really don't. You know, I don't think in the entire Resident Evil franchise, I don't think I've ever been killed by a spider. So we had a run in earlier here where we got poisoned, but like I said, there's a blue herb right when we come up the stairs. Let's do a quick save here. Just in case the game crashes, we'll be able to start from where we left off. Oh. I just remembered too, I never picked up the Magnum. Oh no. And I didn't use the cable on the shutter for where it's located. All the zombies just poured in. So I'm gonna have to backtrack here. Um, I mean, this is part of the game, figuring it out. So first playthrough in 26 years, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and go. Uh, Magnum is a gun. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't need it. But, I mean, I do recommend having it, because you can upgrade it later. Uh, let's take the sun machine gun. Let's backtrack here. Let's go back to the night room. Uh, we'll have some fun. We'll grab a magnum. Um, we might as well go for the small key, too. Just so anyone watching this, if you want to see what that small key can be used for. There was one other desk we did not open up. It's in the waiting room. We'll go ahead and we'll grab that as well.
making our way. So there should be a good bit of zombies up here. We'll have some fun with this submachine gun. Oh yeah. Here we go. There's two right there. Nothing too crazy. Nothing we can't handle. I swear there was a box in this room. Um, definitely in the remake. I, th I always thought it was in that corner. So we got the Magnum. you wonder how many takes they did when they made this game for the sound effects for the zombie like how many takes they had the person make with uh, the noises until they said that's it that's perfect that's the one all right so let's go get the small key um, we gotta go back to the observation room Making our way, making our way. I mean, for all those who know what this key does, uh, feel free to just fast forward because I'm gonna have to backtrack here all the way back to the entrance of the sewers. We're gonna fight, I believe it's called the G Monster. We have a throwdown. Alright, it's over here. Ah, oh, perfect. That ammo. Can't have too much ammo in this game. I do believe that they do give you more than enough ammo to pretty much kill every single enemy. So if you're somebody who's just scared about wasting ammo, do not be. Feel free, use it. I mean, that's what it's for. Um, you know, compared to the other Resident Evils, like three or one, you will not run out of ammo in this game. Everybody should die by the time you run out. If not, you'll have more left over just in case you miss your shots. Yeah, might as well grab the thing, Grim. I, I believe the rating system in the end for. Um, your, your letter grade and your your time. I believe ink ribbons are held against you. I, I'm not 100% positive, but I do believe the more ink ribbons you pick up, the more it's scored against you for your final rating. That's something I'd have to look into, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's just how many saves you have. It might not count the ink ribbon, but it might count the saves. Just makes you wonder what this place was like before the outbreak. Or just 
hundreds of officers and workers all over the place just walking around like what did it look like How did Ben know about this? There's an entrance to the sewers and the kennels that leads out of the city. Alright. Let's just check our gear here real quick. Only take what you need. Mm -hmm. Take the chest pieces. Now, if you wanted to, I mean, I'm taking the pieces with me. You could fight the G-Monster if you want to bring extra inventory. Um, you don't need to bring them. You can always come back for them. But, I mean, I feel pretty confident here. I, I think eight Magnum rounds and the pistol, the HK BP-70, should be more than enough. I don't think I've ever died to this guy. So, hopefully this isn't the first. go what is that I'd go stomp that eye just poke it real hard maybe just drag that body before it morphs just throw it over the edge there kick it Man. Get off me. Oh, this guy's taking a lot more hits than what I remember. Ooh, I think that was a miss. Wow, he was actually, he was more tanky than what I remember. Um, so I missed one shot, so... What it took seven magnum rounds. Alright, so unlike the remake, you don't have to solve anything. You just put the pieces in there. Leon knows where to put them. Oh, get off me. Say what? Where'd you come from, Ada? Falling from the ceiling. Ada. Either that or everybody's just taking what was that all vent about? rides all over this building. Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got bent. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right. We'll do this your way, for now. Now the sewers. It's not blue herb, like I said. We didn't even come across any. So that means there's there's going to be enemies up ahead that can poison us. Most likely spiders. I can't think of anything else in this game that could poison you. I mean the spiders are a real cool enemy. Let's read this real quick.
Secretary Chief. Um, the spiders are a real cool enemy in terms of design. Um, the AI. Let's do a quick save here, real quick. This these game crashes. Just start from where we left off. Um, just setting up here what we want to move forward with. But as I was saying, the, the spiders are cool. It's a cool enemy. The AI was just terrible with them. They were real clunky with their movements. They, it just the game was, the game was ahead of its time, but it wasn't quite ready for that type of enemy to be um, what they probably envisioned. So I just got like a little storage down here. I don't think there's any enemies. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything else. So this is one of those rooms. I mean, you can go down here to get extra ammo, but there's really no need to go down here. If you're doing the speed run, you just run by it. But there's no point. It's nice. I mean, they probably could have put something exciting down there. I don't know why they didn't. Oh, there she is. Get her. Dude, Leon is the man. Dude is in it Leon, to win it. He would literally die for somebody. Like, this whole time he's trying to survive. Instead of going out of the city, he says, let's go into the city. Police station, let's go. Oh, let's see if there's any survivors. Like, he's always thinking about other people. Ada don't care. I mean, Ada was going to kill Ben. There's no doubt about it. She's just here to complete her mission. Da -da 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 -da. Oh man, the bugs. Dude, they would be the worst. Like G virus cockroaches. Oh, guaranteed bite. They would spread the infection faster than a zombie. Like, think about the Black Plague with fleas, rats. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong? Mm. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Oh my. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband was the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than I mean... the T-Virus. Why are you so obsessed? The creature you're, you just said it's a bioweapon. Like, why? You know it's going to kill people. What it's going to be used for? Like, why would you dedicate your life's work to doing that? None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Like, you can create medicine. I mean, she's a genius. You can do medicine. Pharm you know, pharmaceutical company, Umbrella, right? Like, but no, instead you create something that 
is specifically going to be used as a weapon to kill others. This way. Like it just It's sheer perfection. My precious. And then the way they device. talk about it too. It's just it's no just one will ever take you away from me. Some crazy people out there. <laughs> There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. <laughs> you might hit the sample. How does he know? He'd even open it. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move Just hold on the suitcase. For all you know, it can have vials in there with water. Placebos. William. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that. Let me take care of that bullet one. Thirty bullets. Stay here. Go get that first aid kit. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <gasps> Are you telling me that he injected That's right. G virus you get that straight. Body? Oh. The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there. Now why is the other guy not shooting? Like this thing's about to kick your ass and you're just staring at it. Smash that virus. Look at all those little rats and roaches just rolling it. What, what is this thing? Fire! Fire! Son of a. Uh oh. Rats are just loving it. I'm just like s sipping it up. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G virus bioweapon, including William, has the mm. ability to implant embryos Little babies. into other Little creatures. baby G monsters. And create offspring. No. Look at that speed. Ooh. Sometimes you just gotta do a good old slap. Too bad. Alrighty. Oh, the medallion. Doesn't look like I can pick anything up for Leon. Yeah, you know, I always wondered about the alligator. They don't really mention anything about the alligator. Like, this doesn't really seem like the type of city like where alligators would live. So, somebody just kind of flush him down the toilet, and he somehow he's in the sewer and just came across it. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like the alligator fight. It's a good touch. But was it research? Like, was he from the lab? Ada. We'll never know. And this just maybe it's just better to keep it that way. Look at Leon getting up like a champ. He's got a bullet in his shoulder. Can't go up that way. Gotta go around. Yep, here's all the spiders. Thing though is like you don't need to fight them. This that's this is what I'm talking about at the end. It's a really cool enemy, but 
they just the AI wasn't there. Like, you can just run right by them. Like they can't, they can't do anything to you. I, they can probably spit some poison on you. you stand still, but if you're always on the move, like none of them are gonna get you. Like they have to be on your level. You either have to be running up against the wall, one coming at you, or they have to be on the ground floor. On the ceiling, like it's a cool effect, but like they can't. It's not gonna get me. See, there you guys dropping some acid or poison. I guess that's what they were trying for was they wanted them running on the wall so you can't hug the wall, but they need to put some on the floor to chase you and then have the ones on the ceiling spitting at you. Oh, I forgot the valve. So we're gonna have to do a little backtrack here. Thank God this isn't a speed run. That would be terrible. But, first time I played through, not supposed to be perfect. That's all part of the game is you don't know what items to bring. It's survival horror. You know, do I have all the items? Do I have the right items? Where do I use them? When do I use them? That's all part of the fun. It's gonna be a good save here. All right. We should have everything we need. I think this is the last part. I mean, the sewers is the last part. Use the valve. We'll move the uh, bridge around, which would be really crazy in real life. I mean, imagine reporting the work and their idea instead of just having two balconies on each level that just stayed there the entire time was we're going to create this hydraulic and we're going to just have you push, you turn this valve and this bridge is going to go up and down when you need it. Yeah, see they have that spider running that wall. Every time you hit that angle, he will just come running at you. So they definitely planned for that. That's a cool effect. Of course, there's blue herbs. Just checking to see if we got rid of the valve. Now, Resident, e Resident Evil is notorious. If you see something like this, where you just use the item, and then you came over here, there's the same area to use the same item, you always use it. Don't run by it. That just means you're sending it up for, for something later. So the bridge is up top, so we're obviously going to go up a ladder somewhere. Looks like there's a, a save there you know we don't have to backtrack but Ooh. so this is probably one of the most iconic scenes resident evil 2 i remember this was in commercials they showed leon getting eaten by the crocodile or the alligator whichever so everybody their first playthrough if they don't know about the 
canister up here. Everybody tries to shoot the alligator. Everybody. So, for those of you who don't know about it, there it is right there. This is a pretty easy fight. If you drop the canister, you just wait for him to put it in his mouth. I, I'm going to create some space here. I don't know about the explosion, but I'm pretty sure you can just shoot it right up close. But then we blow him up. Now, if you decide to find him with your gun and uh, just lay am ammunition into him, um, he, he actually doesn't die. He actually runs away. So you can hurt him, but he just takes off. We don't want that. We don't want them going around Raccoon City. It's a cool boss fight. I don't really understand where he came from. Other than somebody flushed an alligator down the toilet. Like a pet baby alligator that was getting too big. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Oh man, think about that too. <clears throat> you have an open wound, you have a bullet in your shoulder. Just think about... It's sanitation here. I mean, Ada, I mean, she just dressed them in probably one of the dirtiest environments in the world. But feeling better? Let's get to it. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. There we go. If you didn't raise this, you'd have to backtrack. Oh, looks like this is the last time we're going to use this item. There you go. Give a good turn. Let Ada watch. Look how he's just looking at her. She loves it. Alright, let's get her... Uh, Final medallion. Let's do a quick read here. Talk about the attitude chief irons. I have to say, Chief Irons, out of all the characters in the video game series, he is a pretty wild character. Um, really entertaining, but he's definitely a he's definitely a different breed of man. <laughs> pretty psychotic, um, and I guess just with everything going on with the end of Raccoon City, um, it gives him a time to express his inner feelings for um, impulses I guess he has deep down inside so he's a great character they did a great job um, he's a great great he adds a great spin of events on Claire's campaign both a and B It was all the zombies. They should have had the zombies there when the spiders were here, but I don't think the PlayStation 1 console could handle that many enemies of the different calibers at the same time.
So I guess everybody who works at the laboratory has to take this way, huh? Like this is how you get to work. You gotta go through a sewer. Yeah, go through these tunnels. And there's gonna be a uh Is it a train or is it a cable car? I think it's a cable car. So there's some kind of cliff like environment here. Pretty wild. All you have to do here is just keep moving around. Just out for the dust. Just get out of the way. I don't think you need to shoot him to speed this up. I think it's just time, but I mean, just for the fun of it, we'll just put him in him. to the laboratory. Now, this is optional. You don't have to do this. But, if you're, if you're looking to upgrade the Magnum, this does convert it. It's a, it's a uh, special weapons key. So, it's in the locker room in the laboratory. We'll just hang on to this for now. Good bit of zombies in this. Mm. Always check them. Doesn't hurt to check. So, this does make the shotgun more powerful with this attachment. It also holds more rounds. Um, the kickback on the gun is a little stronger, so it is a little slower to. Um, kind of reinitiate another shot. I actually don't prefer the attachments on the shotgun and the Magnum. I like, I don't like putting them on. Uh, it's just a little smoother, a little easier to maneuver. Um, you'll see when we use it. But I mean, it is more powerful. If that's what you're looking for. It's a perfect attachment for you. So you just want to set these zombies off, run back. I came running. Mm. Ada's doing some damage here. She's doing pretty well. She's just unleashing. Mm. I mean, she's responding pretty well. Mm. Like I said, there's plenty of health in this game. Like, it's around every single corner. As you can see, I'm just, I've never ran out of pistol rounds. Look at my shotgun rounds. I should probably want to start using shotgun because at this rate, we're going to have more than enough before we finish the game. Let's 
Got some magnum rounds, some shotgun rounds. Let's make some space here. Go, there we go. I'd say the the gun which has the most scarce ammo in the game is definitely the Magnum. That is one firearm you do not want to drain the ammo. That is a specialty weapon. So like, I would recommend it just for boss fights with large enemies like Lickers. Um, it's not really something you want to use on the average enemy like a zombie. That is special. So you want to take care of it. So we're just going to put it away for now. Put that key away. Let's get some space here. Keep health. Two. <laughs> I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure that's the weapons box key to get from the locker. I know this terminal up here requires a key, so I'll, I'll just bring it with me. So I'll run all the way over here and retry it. Nope. So the key's going to be in the train. See, 26 years later, you forget a few things. That's okay though, because after this, we're going straight to the lab. Um, there'll be a box right down there. We can just put everything away. Everybody in! Everybody in! Oh, what a secret! Everybody in the train, we're going down. Imagine that train going up with a bunch of scientists. Ooh! Ada! Ada! I mean, if Leon wasn't Ada. here, I, I guess Come Ada on, would be dead. She would have been shot by Annette. Um, she got pulverized right there. I mean, Erkin probably would have went in there and just finished her off. She really only is alive because of Leon. Alright, let's do this boss fight. I'm just gonna use the shotgun. You'll see the power on the shotgun and the kick. Look at this state-of-the-art graphics. The eagle! I always thought he looked like an eagle in that head of the beard. Here we go. Ooh, he's faster than what I remember. Ooh, see how it kicked me back? The reset is just slower. I there's a smaller shotgun down here. Oh, she got a good one for this one, which is perfect for this fight. You can take the parts off, I believe. Maybe not. I'll have to check.
He's going to be gone when we come back out. It's burning. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Welcome back. Yeah, they both got pretty <laughs> bad. Hey, the question is, could that We're infect inside Ada? Umbrella's secret lab. It's not a bite. I'll go find something to treat that wound. So just I rest. Yeah, this is just time. getting hit really hard. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go, save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Magnum rounds. All right, let's put this away. Okay. I'll keep the uh, weapons key on me. I. I know, I remember the locker where you use it, I just can't remember how long it's going to take us to get there. It's not a very big laboratory, so I, I mean, we should be coming across it pretty quickly here. Red or blue, which is better? Let's try blue. checking this area out first. I don't remember where do you actually go first. Let's go to the cooling room. Now is it like this? Because it's supposed to be like this? Or because of everything that's happened? Alright, fuse gates. We need to get the fuse. I guess we need to turn power back on. Um, I believe that terminal's for something to do with the vaccine. So let's, uh, let's go find the fuse. I believe we have to combine them both. And we have to put it in the center area of the lab, if I remember correctly. Red room.
Gotta get the power on, gotta find the fuse. Now, from what I remember, one of these rooms there's two liquors, which can stun lock you if you're not careful. We gotta get through the plant here, so we should find the flamethrower. So a lot of people never really knew what that gas system does. That actually is for the liquors. I believe when that gas was turned on, they have trouble identifying you in the area. Or hearing you. It has something to do with messes up with them being able to know you're there. So obviously we turn that on. Um, liquor should be more powerful as well. Got the flamethrower to get the plant. Go through the vent. There should be two liquors on the other side. You have to be real careful here. If you get stun locked, you will die. Yeah, so I shot. See, he knows I'm there. But he's confused. And it's like he even missed with his attack. They took a little more shotgun shells, even with the attachment upgrade. So I don't really believe there's anything else in this room. Just ammo. So, really, I mean... The flamethrower is given to you because you're going to be fighting the plant enemies. You can just run by them, like, for the most part. That's what we did, you know, back then. Like, you don't really need to go in this room. You don't really need to get the flamethrower. If you're doing a speed run, you can totally pass this. It doesn't look, look like the fuse is here, too. So, I'm guessing that the fuse was in the, the freeze room. It was all there together. Um, I probably should check that little robot arm that terminal yeah maybe let's just check the center let's just go in here one more time to just make sure I didn't miss it fuse why would a fuse be in a freezer like what's that have to do with anything they have the blue herb here so I, I guess when when you come across the first plant creatures that you fight um, they probably can poison you I can't remember if they can eat me in this one or not. Hopefully we don't find out. Alright, so the fuse is it's either already in the center um, device in this big area here and we have to bring it back to the freeze room to do whatever to it. Or it's in the, it's in the cooling room. The main fuse. Alright, yeah, so it, we were near it from the very beginning. So let's, uh, let's run back. We'll go check it out. It's Resident Evil 2 for you. Alright, let's go back here.
So we just combined it with this um, device. I mean, I don't really see the point of it. I don't really know what that does. Like, a lot of fuses in this room, but I was wrong from the very start. Let's just go put this in, get power to the facility. This one little fuse powers this entire facility. Go burn some plants. I like the fact that they put a flamethrower in this game. I just wish they put it earlier. Just use it like in the police station. Flame some zombies. I mean, I guess you could flame some zombies down here, but. I guess it's only relevant with plants, like zombies would just be fun, but we're just gonna have a low back. It's an alright weapon. I, I believe Claire has a shotgun. Or the spark gun. Yeah, it's just strictly for these, these enemies here. They're kinda lame, to be honest. Like, <laughs> they don't really do much. They're way better in the remake. I mean, the remake, they're a one hit KO, they grab you. shotgun shell there yeah see when I shoot because the gas sprinklers are on when I shoot they have trouble knowing where I am or even hearing me so I would say the one main benefit to going to those, those two rooms um, where the where they sleep is turning on the sprinkler system feeling pretty confident here I mean I Really shouldn't have any problems here. I'm mean, with the shotgun. Love in the remake how they kept those monitors there and used them for Leon to talk to Claire. Yeah, let's put this back. It's not that great of a weapon, just take some space. We got so many shotgun shells, let's just, just roll with it. Ah, uh, the moth room. One of the greatest enemies in the game. <laughs> Alright, so this is where you get the uh, Desert Eagle attachment. Use key on the locker. Get the attachment, we'll attach that when we get back to the box. Pop some zombie heads. Ooh! Takes everything off of them. Just a, a walking torso. Take this guy out. Another one here. Just checking some of this stuff out. Oh, two shots. We should be good. I'm confident. There's probably only two zombies left. No! No, the camera angle! Ooh, the glitch! <sighs> Let's kill this guy, dude. Mm. 
Alright, let's get this guy. Ooh, wait, how'd you end up there? Oh no! Forgot to reload! No! I gotta reload. Ooh. There we go. Ooh! Making mistakes! I didn't bring any health with me either. I was way too confident. <laughs> Way too confident. Greatest enemies in the franchise. Moth. Actually, I don't know anyone who's ever died to this thing. Blow them away. Oh, what? Nailing this guy. What's going on here? Oh, he got me. Oh, no. If I die, I'm going to be, I'm be. I'm going to be the only guy who died to the moth. Oh, come on. Okay, we're in danger. This could be the end. Man, what's going on here with these glitch shots? Alright, none of those gas. You know, that's another reason you have to go to the locker rooms is because, or the sleeping quarters, you have to get the memo for the password. But if you're speed running, you already know it. Come down here, I guess. Man, I can't believe I almost died. Mm, overly confident. <laughs> overly confident. Shotgun was not the way to go. Trusted pistol. I mean, if I died from one of those larvae. That's better. Let's get back in the game. All right, let's get the magnum. Let's see what the attachment looks like. There we go. I honestly, I don't like it. I mean, it's super powerful. It's a great Birkin gun. Let's get that pistol back. Pistol's my favorite. I, I love it with the Matilda attachment. Three round burst is perfect. I mean, it's, it's just a fun, smooth gun. It gets the job done. You can kill everything with it. I mean, even with three-round burst, you can kill liquors with it too. And liquors are really the only enemy. The only problem is it's not gonna have blowback. So like, we're not gonna test it on this one. Like, you need to knock them back, or else they just keep attacking you. So you can kill them with the pistol, but you're probably gonna get hit. We'll take these healths. Just in case. So I believe all we have to do now is we have to go back to that room near the cooling room where we got the fuse. And um, open that up, there's a fuse disc. Now I believe that's also the room when I think, just like the remake, uh, Sherry gets infected, so I think she gets infected in this one as well. There is a machine in there that we use to treat her, but for Leon, we just need the mode disc. Oh, the plane. Oh, he got me. <laughs> 
I do believe if they grab you, they can eat you. Go get the mode disc and then fight Burton. Mm, you never know how many there are. Well, we'll take some health. Some more Magnum rounds. Good bit back there. Just use a pistol from a distance. Let the gun do the work. I believe, so once we turn the power on here, I believe that machine is how we cure Sherry when she gets infected. See, the thing is, though, like, if I was one of these scientists and I knew I was infected, wouldn't everybody just rush to this room to get the cure? Seems like they were all in here. Yep, vaccine synthesis. So, they, I mean, they had a vaccine, like, all before they turn, you know, could have... Developed it and replicated it. But then we wouldn't have a game. City would still get infected. Unless Birkin just went around and killed everybody. Alright, so we're gonna head back. Let's go get Ada. No. You. You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the Virus, didn't you? Never take it from no. me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, I love how Leon has a gun, but it's like he doesn't. Working with her like here. I'm going to shoot you. you. Know I'm talking about. He's like, no. What? You really Man, I'd have my gun raised. To you. <laughs> so I would not let her talk. Gullible. I would just end it right She's there. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know known her, her a whole 20 minutes. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. She's the most innocent person in the world. Anyway. What happened? Oh, no. Oh. Ooh, that'll do it. I mean, I'd take a gun and be dual wielding. Might as well take the virus. But then you think, like, the what is Leon really going to do with it? Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Dun, dun, dun. I like this music. That actually gets me going. You know what? Let's check that room real quick. Make sure we check. You know, we cross off that we checked every single room here. I believe this is where Claire goes. You need Sherry. Let's open it up. Oh, wait. The XDR. Oh, 
The self-destruct sequence cannot be reversed. So, I mean, Umbrella's all in. When they set that self-destruct sequence, they beat it. Oh, the naked zombies. They're the worst. They've aged. So they were the originals. This is what you've come. Let's use all the shotgun rounds. Yeah. Spot them up. I honestly, I don't like the attachment for the shotgun. Ooh. Then again, how can I argue with that? Kind of like keeping it compact. Ooh! I think Route B, Clara early on, I think he's in that door down the hall there. Alright, uh, let's save it real quick. Let's just check around. Oh, Peter's gone! Big surprise! Yeah, we'll just save this real quick. Now wait for crashes. You know, we don't have to go all the way back. Alright, let's get ready to fight Birkin. Yeah, I think I'll bring the submachine gun. Let's get rid of the pistol. Yeah, bring the deagle. You know, I'm not bringing extra magnum ammo because with what we have, I don't think we really need it. I think the eight shots or some shotgun, some machine gun should be fine. I mean, but in this position, most people would use all the ammunition with the Deagle. And that's pretty much what you save it for. The Birkin fight. Alright, so let's go, let's go use that mode disc. Oh, I forgot about this cutscene. Leon. Give it to me. Oh no. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Wh I've you known doing? you for 20 minutes. You know you wouldn't do about. this. So just hand over the G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. Dude, Leon has balls. Like... Ada. Like, if she really wanted to shoot you, she would. Ada. I've got and then he doesn't even look at where the gunshot Don't came. She's like, alright. Could just got shot there. Shut up. You're gonna make it. It's no. No. I promise you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. Love of my life, gone. Shakes his head now. <laughs> no! <laughs> Honestly, I probably wouldn't care if I was in his position. I'd known you for like 20 minutes. And try to kill me. So, yes. This Get rid of it. Done. Splat! 
his gun. Oh, she didn't have bullets in there. That's why she didn't shoot us. She had no bullets. We called her bluff. Why would she do that? <laughs> why would she do that? What do you think? Pretty much explained the whole thing. Alright, let's go. Let's go past the plant man. Just let him burn flames with the with the uh self-destruct. That's cool artwork right there. I mean that's iconic. Everybody remembers that. Some guy drew that. He can take credit for it and say, that was my idea. You know what? We got more than enough ammunition. Let's, let's test out this eagle. Let's watch how it works on zombies. Who cares who we stand for the ammo? Oh no! Good shot! I don't want to risk it. Ah, good head pop. Naked zombies. Alright. Oh! He lunged! We're good. Alright, let's get ready for the perks fight. Now I kind of wish you brought my back around. It's alright, then we'll make it. We'll make it work. I think Leon only goes this way. I could be wrong. We'll have to play Route B to really know. Alright. We'll use these five rounds and just use a shotgun for the rest. Maybe some some machine gun. Oh no! This is actually one of my favorite forms of burning. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just pop him. Yeah, there we go. He's gonna morph. Now you have to be careful with him in this stage because he does have a one hit KO. He will scare you and we'll be here. No! Alright, just create some distance, let the gun do the work. Uh, I was expecting to come that way. Oh, get out of there! Alright, he's on load with the rest of the deagle. Can't tell if it's hitting him. Okay. Switch to shotgun. Ah, just do some machine gun. Create some distance. Woo! This was a cool idea for a boss fight. Last health. Here's some space. Switch to shotgun. There we go. Right now. That's it. Or 
is it? Dun dun dun! Oh, look at that! Elevator's ready. Let's hope the elevator doesn't get stuck though within two minutes. Can you imagine you make it this far? You're about to get out of here, then the elevator just breaks. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, Claire takes a different route because she's the one who starts the train. Let's go! Woo! Dude, Leon's the man. Look at him. He just doesn't care. Just makes a jump for it. Positive. Like, after all we've been through, it's just the beginning. Just keep moving forward. Love of my life. Goodbye, Ada. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for uh, watching. First playthrough, Leon. This has been 26 years since I played this game. Fantastic game. Uh, far from over. We still have a whole second half of the game for Claire B. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, and I'll see you there.